Hi there booktube, it's Eleanor here and today I'm doing an audiobooks review. So today I'm talking about the audiobooks that I have recently been listening to via Audible. These books were kindly provided to me from Audible and I was really excited to try them out. I've really been enjoying audiobooks and I have found that certain books really lend themselves to being heard and it really does have an awful lot to do with the narrator and the way that it's told um, but I definitely feel that the two books that I want to talk about today were enhanced by the fact that I listened to them in audiobook format. So the first book that I want to talk about is Chasing the Stars by Mallory Blackman and this was narrated by Matthew Morgan and Georgina Campbell. So this is the book in its physical format and I'm going to be talking about obviously the plot and the book itself with no spoilers um, and also how the narrators changed this book for me. So I love Mallory Bratman's Noughts and Crosses series. I thought it was really, really good, a really strong YA story. I was really excited to get to this because it's Mallory Blackman and also because it's set in space and the science fiction aspect really um, drew me in. The plot, as we are told at the back of the book, is that it's uh, aboard a ship called the Aiden and we have twins, a boy and a girl who are on the ship, uh, V or Olivia and Aiden, and they rescue a group of people off of a planet that has been destroyed by an alien race. They take them aboard the ship and we learn about the relationship and what's gone on and there's, there's secrets and mysteries and there's a bit of a sort of murder mystery going on and we are following the points of view of V who is the captain of the ship that has rescued the people and we're following Nathan who is one of the rescuees and we're following their relationship. Now, what I really enjoyed about this is each chapter is from a different person's point of view, so either V or Nathan, and it swaps between the two. And I liked the fact that on audiobook of this, there was a male and a female reading the two different parts. It really felt like you were getting another point of view. I liked that it swapped up. It really helped me to change up. Oh, right, this is somebody else speaking. And they were British which doesn't necessarily always make a difference, but I really enjoyed that. Often um, a lot of audiobooks that I've listened to have been narrated by American, author, uh, American narrators and that's fine and I really enjoy a lot of those, but it was nice to have uh, British narrators for this. I really enjoyed that as something a bit different and I really enjoyed the sort of diversity aspects in this story. The one big problem I had with this book was the insta-love aspect. Uh, it was really far too quick that the two um, people in question got together and there was a particular section which I found very troublesome um, which involves sex and how quick that happened and um, how... Um, safe sex wasn't really mentioned or promoted and I found that personally a little bit troublesome um but th I, the story was really intriguing and really exciting for me I really enjoyed the idea behind the story I just felt that this um insta love really um it let let the book down a little bit really because I feel like the love aspect in itself would have been fine, but they just needed to have slowed it down a bit and possibly not pushed it quite as far and as fast as it was. Um, I know, I mean, the main protagonists in this are 18, sort of 19, so I know, like, teenage romance, it does happen quick. It happens overnight and people are in love, but the way that this was done, it was just too, um, too sped up and there was too many big decisions happening and big things which I think um, we should be promoting people think about before they get involved in. And I don't want to say what because um, spoilers, but I just felt that those were really uh, rushed into really quickly and I wasn't happy with that. So 
I really enjoyed the narrators for this. They definitely enhanced the story. I gave the book three stars on Goodreads and it's not one that I would necessarily push to people but I do think that if Mallory is deciding to turn this into a series that future books could really be interesting. Now we're sort of past the insta love stage and I really enjoyed where she went at the end of this book I really enjoyed the fact she didn't shy away from certain things um just to make it really saccharine sweet and happy um I did enjoy that part of it so it was good um it probably um is more three and a half stars with the narrators because they were so good um but the story itself is a three star for me but as I say, I can see the potential in this storyline and I really do love um, science fiction and space opera type books. So I'm really hoping that if she writes a sequel that it'll bump up for me and I definitely will be trying it because I think it's definitely got potential. Anyway, that is Chasing Stars, Chasing the Stars by Mallory Black. And then the next audiobook that I listened to was Fox Low by Eleanor Wasserberg. And this was narrated by Charlie Sanderson. I was really expecting to love this book. I love a book about a cult. <laughs> I think um, books that are set in cults are very intriguing and very interesting to me. And unfortunately, I just felt a little bit of a disconnect with this story. I think something that I struggle with is I really struggle um, with the main voice if it's one that I can't connect with or feel any sort of emotion or connection to. Um, I really struggle with that for some reason and so I really struggled to enjoy it as much as I probably could have done had I felt some sort of connection to the character but, but I didn't find her relatable at all which is probably what the author's gone for but for me it just meant that I had this sort of disconnect. The story in itself is very unnerving. It's about a utopian um, society sort of in a commune. We're following our narrator Green and about her life growing up in this commune. She doesn't remember anything else and we follow her from around the age of four and her telling the story up until adulthood. I did feel at times sad and frustrated and angry at the adults in this story um, at their sort of mentality and the way that they treated everybody especially the children but as I say I really struggled with um, relating to our narrator and feeling a connection with her which made me struggle to give it more than I did. I gave the story itself three stars but I would definitely give the narrator for this Charlie Sanderson four stars. She was really great at the voices in this and giving them slightly different nuances so that we knew there was a different person speaking and she really helped to bring the story alive for me. Again this just shows to me how a book can be enhanced by hearing it read aloud and to hearing it read aloud by the right person. So I'm really enjoying um, these audiobooks that I've been listening to because I feel like the books have only so far been enhanced by being on audio the ones that I've listened to and I'm yeah I'm really enjoying it so thank you so much to Audible for allowing me to review these books and uh, obviously all thoughts and feelings are my own as always um it's a shame that both of these stories were sort of on the three stars but I definitely feel like the narrators in both of these um would have been four stars for their narration so I'll definitely be looking out for these narrators again Anyway, that's it from me today and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye for now, book two.